enjoyed my first come book shopping with me. It was incredibly stressful. <laughs> I'm pretty sure one of the ladies in Barnes & Noble thought I was trying to steal stuff because she just kept popping up. And normally when I'm in Barnes & Noble, I feel like I just walk around and I never see any workers except for at like the main area. But man, this lady was following me around. <laughs> I did end up getting a couple of things, which was a little surprising because uh, of what I got. I, I thought I was going to go in and get some like cozier books, but I ended up getting manga volumes and one uh, mystery that I didn't realize was out already, even though I literally do new releases videos. So I feel like I should know better than most people what's coming out, but nope, didn't know. So I did end up getting three things. And mostly I got stuff like that I thought would be pretty cozy to read because I am in a reading slump due to some medical issues that have come up. I am not ready to talk about them because I don't exactly know what's going on, <laughs> but I will give a life update when I figure everything out because it's very confusing right now. So I wanted to get some stuff that I would be like inclined to read, like want to read, and it's more on the lighter side so I'm not like compounding sadness upon sadness. So I decided to pick up the Complete Collection Volume 1 of Orange. I do find it really funny they call it the Complete Collection, but there's actually two volumes. I don't know why that makes me laugh so much, but it is a chunky manga and it seems really, really cool and it's following our main character. I think there's like one specific main character who you're mostly following and her like friend group and she gets a letter from a future self and they basically, the letter's telling them do certain things so that you avoid other certain things. So that's kind of the premise of this. It sounds really interesting. I don't tend to like that type of stuff, but I think this is going to be really cute. I'm a little worried it is going to be rather emotional, but I've heard amazing things about this. Yeah, it sounds really cute. So I ended up picking this up and I, I, I've been wanting to pick it up for a while. So I'm glad I did it. And then I picked up something else that I might read with my husband because we're super into D&D and action stuff like that and it's called solo leveling and I didn't realize it was so popular and this is I don't know if this is considered a manga it says this is based on the hit fantasy novel experience the web comic that's captured the attention of millions because it's not written backwards because I I went into it and I was reading it backwards and I'm like something's wrong <laughs> so it is regular format uh you well regular U.S. format where you read this way and it looks so cool i love the artwork it looks really fun and it's supposed to be like following our main character who is a super weak dungeoner and he gets abandoned by his group and ends up getting stuck in whatever a double dungeon is and has to go through himself so it sounds really really interesting and i've heard really good things about this too i looked it up and I hadn't heard about it before. And then I looked up all these reviews and people were like, this is literally amazing. And I didn't even, I, after I picked it up, I went to the front of the store to check out at Barnes and Noble. And they even have a gift card to Barnes and Noble that has this on it. So I was like, it's gotta be good, right? <laughs> so I picked that up. And then the last one that I picked up that I thought would be a fun time is Royal Blood. This is the new release that came out. I don't know if it came out this Tuesday or last Tuesday, but <sighs> it looks it looks hilarious uh it doesn't have a ton of ratings but it's got like a four point something but it's following our main character who is american and but she's like she has to go live with her british family and it turns out she's descended from like the monarchy and so she goes to live with the monarchy but there's a murder that takes place and they all think she did it because she's the american i guess and she has to solve a murder so i think this sounds super fun and that's kind of all I know about it other than it's like she has to solve the murder and that just sounds like a cute fun young adult ro romance young adult mystery and it's going to be a series I think it said it's going to be like a trilogy so I don't know it sounds good that's all I ended up getting I didn't actually end up getting anything from second and Charles I wasn't even going to go to second and Charles but my husband wanted me to pick up uh, Genghis Grill because we were both craving it and he was on the way home from work so I was like let me just go pick it up and Second and Charles was right next door so I went inside they had a bunch of new releases but that's also my problem lately with Second and Charles I feel like every time I used to go to Second and Charles I would find amazing stuff I would find such good used stuff if you don't know what Second and Charles is it's a chain used bookstore and 
the pricing on the stuff is not good anymore. It is so steep. Like you're better off buying the books new. And that's what they're kind of turning their store into. Like when you go in, it's like all brand new books now. And I'm like, and they do that thing where they intersperse brand new books on the used bookshelves. So you'll pick out a book thinking it's used and it's brand new and it's pay full price. So I always have to check uh, prices on the back and it's just so frustrating that they do that. I feel like it's very sneaky. So I actually haven't been going lately because their selection is not very good and I don't like the sneakiness and it's basically just brand new books. And I'd rather go to Barnes and Noble or Books A Million where I have my 10% off discount when second or Charles, you don't get any type of discount. So unless you like bring a bunch of used books, if you bring a bunch of used books in and you have store credit, then it would actually probably be worth it. I do actually need to bring some books there. They give pretty good store credit compared to, compared to other places. So that's, that's nice. But yeah, I just, I'm not a huge fan of them anymore, but the bookstore, it's so pretty to walk through though. <laughs> I will say, I feel like they're adult section is okay their young adult section is not very good at all if you want a twilight book there's a lot of them <laughs> but anyway i had a lot of fun there was definitely some that i wanted to pick up but i stopped myself like i really want to get she is a haunting but the cover freaks me out so i feel like i'm gonna enjoy reading it but then like not want it on my shelves so uh i didn't pick that up i'm gonna see if i can get it through libby Speaking of which, I need to go renew my library membership. I keep forgetting to do that. And then I really wanted, oh my God, I really wanted the Melissa De La Cruz book, but every single Melissa De La Cruz book that I've read, except for the very first Blue Bloods book, I hate. So I can't do it, even though it sounds so entertaining. It's like a murder mystery with influencers. And that sounds so entertaining, but I don't trust her. I don't trust her, so I can't do it. I'll probably still... I, I'm literally pretty sure that in my, I think the last time I read one of her books, I DNF'd it and it was during the whole reading the lowest books on my TBR, lowest rated books on my TBR and hers was on there and yeah, I DNF'd it and I'm pretty sure I said I'm never going to read from her again, but I want to read it. <laughs> so maybe I'll like read the first chapter and see if I'm interested, but I wanted that one and then there was some fantasy books that I really wanted and there was more manga of course that I wanted but I was trying to be good and not buy everything in the store. There was one that I wanted that I couldn't show on film because like I said Barnes and Noble was like watching me like a hawk and it was making me very uncomfortable <laughs> uh, but I think it was uh, I don't remember it's a new horror that's come out it's, it's a translated horror it looks really really cool the cover's like a hand it looks really awesome and then I also wanted bright and deadly things which is a new thriller but uh, I, I can't bring myself to pay full price for thrillers because I read them super fast most of the time and then $28 later I'm like it was fine <laughs> so I yeah I don't know I don't know but I had a fun time walking through the store I was in there for a while actually the, there's not like a ton of footage because like I said I got really nervous doing it <laughs> this is my very first time doing it so it was it was fun though and uh yeah, I like what I got. So I'm happy with it. I hope you enjoyed coming with me book shopping. I had a good time. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. And I will see you guys in the next video.